Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. We continue looking at the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, today from verse 9. Now there was a man named Simon who formerly was practicing magic in the city and astonishing the people of Samaria, claiming to be someone great. And they all, from smallest to greatest, were giving attention to him, saying, This man is what is called the great power of God. And they were giving him attention because he had for a long time astonished them with his magic arts. But when they believed Philip preaching the good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were being baptized, men and women alike. Even Simon himself believed. And after being baptized, he continued on with Philip. As, and, he, and as he observed signs of great miracles taking place, he was constantly amazed. So here we see that for many years, this man Simon had been practicing magic and had um, it says he had astonished the people and other places it said that he had uh, placed them um, under his power. Uh, this power, of course, was demonic. It was nothing to do with God. It was not God's power. And even though maybe we don't know what sort of signs and wonders he performed, and even if they were healings, it doesn't mean it's of God. Not all miraculous healing comes from God. The devil can put an infliction upon you. He can take it away again as well. So we need to be careful. In every instance where we see miraculous signs and wonders, we need to look what's behind it. We need to see who is being glorified. In this case, it was people glorifying Simon, saying that he had the great power of God, that this man is the power of God. There is your indication that this is not from God. This is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will never, ever give glory or honor to a man. The Holy Spirit always lifts up Jesus Christ. When any miracle happens in the name of Jesus, there's not the person who performed the miracle as such through whom it was performed, but it is Jesus who gets the glory. That is our indication. As soon as these people heard the gospel and heard the good news of Jesus Christ, the power that Simon had over them was broken. They believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, called upon his name for forgiveness, repented of their sins, they were baptized and set free. Also, it seems that Simon responded to the gospel and he gave his life to the Lord and was baptized. But as we'll see in the coming days, this was uh, fairly superficial in his case. He stuck with Philip. He was more interested in the signs and wonders that were happening than in the Lord Jesus Christ himself. We have to be careful that we don't get carried away with the outward things, that we lose focus on the important thing. The most important thing is if you never even see a sign or a wonder in your life, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and you know that by his shed blood your sins are forgiven and your name is written in the Lamb's book of life and you will be with him forever. That is the greatest miracle, the miracle of the new birth, the miracle of being born again, set free from sin and having a life with the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be discerning always, we need to test the spirits. Lord God, Heavenly Father, as we begin this new day today, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for this day. We ask, Lord, that today you would help us to honor you. Help us in everything. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our God and Redeemer. We pray that you take us by the hand, that you lead us, that you guide us. We ask, Lord, Heavenly Father, for your mercy. We pray for your blessing upon our governments and those in authority, that you would give them wisdom and understanding and help them to make good and right decisions. The secret things that are done in the dark, exposed, bring out to the light. Those that are corrupt, we pray that you would take them out. Those that are good, we ask that you would bless them. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray that you would, Lord, just defeat the enemy, that you would, that you would just take him down, Lord, that you would just destroy all of his evil plans. Heavenly Father, we pray for your mercy. We pray for the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray especially for those souls that are bound up, that are bound up, Lord, in this world, that are bound up under the power of Satan through many, many devious means that he has. They're all lies. Lord, you said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So we pray for these people that are bound up in lies, that they would know the truth and would be set free. Heavenly Father, we ask for your healing hand upon our sick, upon the dying, upon all who are in need. We pray that you comfort those who mourn. Lord, that you will calm those who are distressed. Heavenly Father, there are people who have to make life-changing decisions in these days, and we pray, Lord, that you will just lead them and guide them and help them. Heavenly Father, we commit all to you, knowing that you love us with an everlasting love. 
as the birds are singing outside, Lord, so we too lift our voices in praise and worship to you, and we honor you and glorify you. We thank you for everything. We thank you as the light of the sun shines, Lord, that your light shine brightly into our hearts. Heavenly Father, we love you so much, and we thank you that you love us. Cleanse us from all of our sins. Help us today to just reflect you in every way, to be kind to everybody who we meet. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we ask now that you hear us as we join together and pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.